This is the finale of the AR-12 Racing Championship presented by Thrustmaster. Today, Forza Motorsports' fastest drivers are going head-to-head -head in three races. The top 10 finishers from each of the races will get points, and after all of the races, the drivers with the most points will win some awesome prizes from Thrustmaster. We're giving away things like this, the Thrustmaster eSwap Forza Horizon 5 controller, same controller I use every single day. We're also giving away one of these, the Thrustmaster T818 Ferrari edition with an SF1000 formula racing wheel. It's Thrustmaster's top of the line racing wheel and it's awesome. The drivers who finish second and third place after all three races will earn these, the Thrustmaster T248 racing wheel. And if you're new to the world of sim racing, I would definitely recommend picking one of these things up because they're amazing value for dollars. And not to mention, we're also giving away a $1,500 in straight cash. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump in to race race number one. Race number one of the Thrustmaster finale is here at Catalonia. I'm going to get off the racing circuit. Good luck, boys. Have a good, fun, clean race. I wish you all good luck. Try not to crash and try not to have too many skill issues. Leave the skill issues up to me. That's, that's kind of my job. Anyways, corner one, everything's fairly clean. There is some bumping going on, but overall, fairly clean. The black one got hit, nearly pit maneuvered, but held it nicely. Look at but through the first couple of corners, Barcode is leading. Well done, sir. Five seconds up front so far. Big slowdown into the following corner. A little bit of bumping again. A little bit of blocking the road after people get a little bit pit maneuvered. This is such an incredibly stacked lobby today. Oh, and a little bit of a hit again. Anyways, guys are already going over the start finish line. Barcode has a monster lead at the moment, but has Dan bearing down on him in second and it's a super close battle. Mitch is in P3, Ash is in fourth, and Danzilla in P5. Ash runs it a bit wide, Danzilla shoots up the inside, he moves up to fourth place. You need consistency because we're doing three races today. If you win this race and then bottle the next one, I hate to break it to you, you're probably not gonna win. You need to be consistent. So you've got to think like, does Ash want to go for one? Course wants to go for one up the inside. Bumping wheels with Ash makes the move stick. Green in P7. Look at all of the penalties, though, coming in. A load of little collisions. There's a lot of bumping going on on the circuit at the moment right now. I don't think this grid is going to look the same after they cross the line or when time expires. Green still holding P7. Ash in P6. Course in P5. And it's Danzilla in P4. But Course looks up the inside inside with a little bit of a tap but can't make the move stick green also going for a move around the outside of ash looking good these the wheel to wheel battles right now are insane they are still wheel to wheel these guys are insane it just it keeps switching back inside to outside but i think green has done enough green has finally got it well done green all of this battling is just letting barcode run away with thing all the way up at the front of the pack though this is insane now there's a three-way battle for p4 it's still anybody's race boy there is five minutes left on the clock in race number one can green make a move get past course green is now up to p5 looking good danzilla p6 green is just cutting up the pack now further on back things are still looking good sending it brian Ash looking good back here, boys. See, these guys are still in the point, so it's still everything to play for at the moment. Oh, and green! Green gets pushed out wide. That leaves the door open up the inside for Dan. Dan goes up to P5 again. These battles are insane. There's a battle going on up here for podium positions. Let's take a look. A big battle for P2 between Dan and Mitch. Weatherman Dan is zooming, but is just being held up by Mitch at the moment. There is a big point differential between second and third place. There's only three minutes left on the clock. Can Dan get a slipstream? Mitch tries to break the slipstream. Down the start finish straight. Blocking the inside line. Forces Dan the long way around. Dan's not able to make a move. Lovely defending Mitch. Lovely move. Dan is trying everything to get past at the moment. Wait, Legacy spun and is now out of the points. 
Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at how close these guys are. Literally just bumping each other all the way down this straight. It's insane. There is less than two minutes left on the clock. Is somebody going to make a last second dash and try to get a last second overtaken to try to secure a couple of extra points? Meanwhile, further back on the grid, Green has got P4 finally. Well done, Green. There's still a battle going on for fifth position. Look back behind two on the minimap. There is an epic battle going on for like eighth position at the moment. Wow. Horse is just holding P5 at the moment. Dan is not going to be able to get the overtake in and time is going to expire. Did you see what Course tried to do? Course didn't break for the corner and tried to get a sneaky overtake in. After all of the penalties though, Barco takes it. Mitch second and Dan the weatherman P3. Well done boys. Race one in the book. Two more races to go. Race number two, we are off to the Nurburgring. But not what you think. No, 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 no. GP circuit, boy. Race two at the Nurburgring. Good luck, boys. Ferraris, have fun, have a clean race, and away you... I love all the different paint jobs, by the way. Can I just say that? They look incredible, and somebody is already off and into the grass. I'm being punted from behind. No, it's just Geet coming in my rear. All the way up at the front. Since this is a different race, we have different grid RNG. And Green is leading the pack through the first couple of corners. Well done, Green, after he got done dirty. And Fuego snaps it with Sim steering, getting done extremely dirty there. Sorry, bro. Oh, my God. It is an insanely close race at the moment between Lexi and Green. I feel like I should be trying to remain impartial during these races. I do like Green. Go, go Green. Go, Green. Oh, to lap number two we go mitch also having a very good race there's a massive gap between fourth and fifth place at the moment that's mental but green is still leading the pack and there's more flip flopping between second and third place at the moment Jeez. Dan is here in fourth place. Dan is just waiting for a move to happen, an opportunity to open up. Anyways, behind me, I think, is Brian. I think Brian's having another good race. Bro, Mitch is the minister of defense out here. Mitch is able to put his car in such a nice position to kind of block the overtake from happening. Look, Lexi's now doing it to Dan. Somebody will need to correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure Lexi primarily started out as like a Horizon player and previously Previously swapped over to, to motorsport not that long ago, actually. And he's now in front of one of Forza Motorsports. He's side by side, one of Forza. He's behind one of Forza Motorsports' fastest drivers. Wheel to wheel through the right hander. Dan sits on the inside, but let's he's gonna take a look and then backs out of it. Well played, boys. Very nice driving. Mitch is now leading the race. Green is in second right in his slipstream. I'm gonna zoom up. I'm gonna catch up to these guys. They are going wheel to wheel into quarter one. Oh man, Green's got the outside line. Mitch, once again, the minister of defense. Jeez, Mitch is so good at placing his car right where it needs to be to not allow an overtake. Meanwhile, Dan is just holding P3 at the moment, holding a podium position. Nicely done. Yo, Green is zooming. Green really wants the P1 after that race. Looking everywhere for a gap to open up, using all of the road, but Mitch is just there not allowing it. This is crazy. Mitch is a little offline, but Oh shit, I've I've done I've done the thing. Could we have spectate cameras so I don't need to commentate and drive? Please, for the love of all that's holy. Oh, look at this epic battle for fourth place right now between Barcode and Lexi. That's gonna be going for a little while. Barcode's actually going for one. I'm trying to catch up to the guys in front. Barcode's gonna do it. Well done, bro. There is still four minutes left in this race. Mitch lead, green in second. Dan in P3. Jeez, this battle's gonna keep going. Look at Dan. Dan's looking up.
up the inside on green. Forces him out, but green's gonna hold the inside through this left-hander, and he's gonna do the exact same thing to Dan. But all of this battling is gonna mean that Mitch just has free road now, and Mitch is gone. Mitch has P1. It is now his race to lose. Well done. This is stressy, bro. This is very, very stressy. Anyways, three minutes to go in race number two. Mitch is gonzo. Uh, wait, did... What just happened to Green? Green drops back to P3 because of something? Dan now gets up to P2. Barcode is closing in a little bit. Green seems to be getting done dirty. Looks up the inside. No contact. A little bit of contact. But Dan able to hold him in barcode flying through the two teammates. Dan is now rocking P2. Barcode up to P3. There is only two minutes left. Dan now has to hold up two ESV boys. Dan goes defensive, blocks the inside. Barcode looks to the outside. Can he hold it? If he can get a wheel in or a nose in up here, he could maybe hold it up the inside, but he's not gonna be able to. Oh, that's unfortunate. And again, all of this just means Mitch is running. Mitch has first play. Well done. Meanwhile, Lexi's having a really nice race, just holding P5 at the moment. I don't know if these guys are going to have any team orders. Maybe Barcode says, hey, let me have P3 and I'll, I'll scoop you some prizes. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. 40 seconds left to go in this race, though. Is there going to be a last second dive? Maybe. Going into corner one is going to be a big opportunity. Dan going very defensive once again. Dan holding it, though. Nicely done. Bar Barcode, though, with a drift out of the corner. Green's gonna take P3, but Barcode's gonna get it back. Going right on the back of Dan. Jesus Christ. 10 seconds to go. Please don't make a stupid dive bomb. Please don't make a stupid dive bomb, boy. Well done. Dan plays Minister of Defense. Dan had a penalty. That puts Barcode up to P2. No way. Barcode and Mitch are tied with 43 points apiece. But Dan is still within a shout. Green still within a shout. This is gonna get sweaty, boys. We are leaving the Nurburgring and we're heading to Silverstone. Full circuit. Good luck, boys. The third and final race. Away you go. Have fun. Have a clean race. And I wish you good luck, boys. He loves hitting me, huh? <laughs> Bryant is starting this race in P1, looking good. Clean through the first couple of corners. We'll see if somebody can make a move up here, going into the little stadium section at Silverstone. But overall, it just looks like a lot of guys going wheel to wheel. Oh, Green's down in P19. No! Apparently, Green got, like, RNG unfortunate spun. That was his own fault. Oh, wow, look at the battle for first barcode up in into P1 and fighting with Brian like crazy. Mitch is in P7 at the moment. This is unbelievably close. Mitch is gonna send it up the inside into corner one at Silverstone. That's gonna be P6 for him. Brian is now the Minister of Defense up in P1. Holding off barcode. Dan is up here. Mitch is up here. I don't know where Force 1 is at the moment. Oh man. Alright, I uh, try to get up to... Oh, big crash for P1. Was that barcode who just spun? He was able to hold it really nicely, and he's still holding P2. But that's going to give whoever was in P3 a big run. And now they're closing in. Dan pulls out of the battle. Dan says, this is not my race to fight. Gives Mitch and Legacy P4, P5. This is going to come down to the wire, boy. Barcode cannot make it past Brian. Bryant is the Minister of Defense. It's a good exit from Barcode, but Barcode's gonna have to go the long way around. He's in front and he's able to hold it. He goes defensive, holds the inside line. Very nicely done from Barcode. P1 for him. Ooh, this is getting real sweaty. Force One is now entering the race. He's up in P6, looking really, really good, hoping to get a P5 here at the minimum. Meanwhile, up at the front, Barcode is doing a very very nice job doing some defensive driving and just kind of maintaining that gap to P2 at the moment. Looking very, very good right now. All the way up at the front here. Mitch is now bearing down on P2. Brian once again playing defensive driving again. Some of these guys might have penalties. I do not know. Oh man. Look at Mitch. Mitch is in the slipstream. Bryant forces him the long way round. 
Brian actually, Brian dabbed the break. Brian just gave Mitch P2. Okay. I, I wasn't expecting to see that. I think this is the battle though. Brian knew the battle was between Barcode and Mitch. Mitch, you have four minutes to close that gap. Brian and Mitch inside job. <laughs> I don't know what the standings are right now between these two guys. I think it's just winner takes all, huh? It is going to come down to the final lap of the final race in the finale. Wait, Barcode has a penalty. I don't think Mitch has a penalty. Mitch doesn't even need to overtake. Barcode is pushing and if Barcode goes off the circuit too much, he will pick up more penalty. Oh my days. Oh my days. This is gonna come down to the wire. I think Mitch knows that he doesn't need to overtake. He just needs to sit behind him and I think Mitch knows he's gonna make it. He's gonna make the gap. Mitch is doing the big brain play. He's not getting too close to Barcode. Well played, bro. Mitch is just gonna chill in the slipstream right behind Barcode. He's actually gonna go up the inside. Barcode goes defensive with 15 seconds on the clock, but I think Mitch knows he doesn't need to overtake. He's gonna win the race with penalties. He's done the math. Mitch won. Well done, bro. Mitch is the only driver to put in a 159. Mitch is your Thrustmaster champion. Bro, GG. After our three races, Mitch is your Thrustmaster winner. Barcode brings up P2 and P3 goes to force one dan the weatherman well done boy yo mitch how's it going yeah so so good after that thank you oh uh, do you finally feel like the stresses come down now yeah for sure i mean <laughs> this week has been such a grind for me personally you know a lot of hours go in to try and win something like this oh dude well done though you're getting some sick prizes yeah i can't wait for that i, I mean that was the reason i signed up so i'm so happy to get this <laughs> yeah thanks a lot man and thanks to frostmaster as well your partners for, for hosting let's go all right gg bro